Hi. So um, as you know, SA3 had a research question. And some, some of you lost track of it. And SA4 also has a research question, one that you yourself wrote. And so you might want to write that research question for SA4 on an index card and tape it on your computer so that it's always in front of your eyes as you're working because your whole as you write SA4, the whole point is to answer that research question. Just like in SA3, you were supposed to answer this research question. How does um, blank forgive or happiness practice make us more happy so let's say I chose to write about forgiveness or practicing forgiveness um I might after my research my finding great articles and stuff I might put together the following thesis statement practicing forgiveness improves our lives by one fostering contemplation two helping us to avoid anger and the desire for revenge and three helping us to avoid feelings of social discomfort. So you see how my thesis has three ways that practicing forgiveness works. And so my three body paragraphs, and now I know what they're going to be about. The first one's going to be about the first way, um, fostering contemplation. The second body paragraph is going to be about the second way, helping us to avoid anger and the desire for revenge. And the third body paragraph is going to be about the third way, helping us avoid feelings of social discomfort. And so each of my body paragraphs is going to begin with this, um, with a topic sentence that tells me, tells the reader um, what the focus of this paragraph is, right? So, so this is how your thesis and topic sentences should kind of interlock. And when I say your topic sentence should echo your thesis, that's what I mean, um, the, the fostering contemplation is echoed in the first topic sentence. The helping us avoid anger and desire for revenge is, is echoed in the second topic sentence. And the, the um, way it helps us avoid feelings of social discomfort is echoed in the third topic sentence.